Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. Our favorite boba drinker has some really wacky text and is actually boba roken in the literal sense. In today's video, I'll be showing you what I learned from experimenting with attack speed on Kami Boba Ayato and how he is broken, literally. Ayato is a pretty straightforward character. Smash giant pretty burst, smash E key, destroy button of the left mouse variety. However, like most of Mihoyo's creations, there is more than meets the eye, and especially in Kami Boba Ayato's case. I decided to plunge into the rabbit hole that is attack speed in this video. I feel like there is very little concrete information and consistency about attack speed. And if you were hoping to get that delectable piece of concrete information in this video, you won't be. Unlike damage formulas and math, something like this is outrageously inconsistent. As such, I need to emphasize this is just a series of observations that is not meant to be conclusive in any way. Because unlike simple damage which is just arithmetic, this is reliant on human execution. And whenever human execution is involved, things get messy. I'm only one guy capable of gathering a limited amount of information, so please take all this with a giant grain of salt. Now with all that out of the way, you'll see that there are some broken mechanics that go beyond the fact that humans are pathetically fallible and can't even click a mouse button the same way every time. We're going to start with 0% attack speed and move all the way up to 84% attack speed. The way I did this is flawed but simple. I did each scenario a handful of times, around 5 times for most of them, and then moved on. There will also be 2 techs and 1 Oberoken mechanic. <laughs> So let's hop right into this terrifying rabbit hole. We're going to start with just plain old E. How many slashes can Kami Boba Ayato perform? For my 5 attempts at this, it was 15 slashes every single time. I believe with tighter input timing for the mouse click and hold, he might be able to do 16 slashes somewhat consistently. For me however, as an incredibly average creature known as a human, I was reliably performing 15 slashes. Next, I decided to experiment with animation canceling. This is the N1E cancel. To perform this, simply click once to do his basic attack, then during that basic attack, use his elemental skill. For no apparent reason at all, I was able to perform 16 slashes 3 out of the 5 attempts I did with this. An added benefit of doing the N1E cancel is that it allows for a quicker activation of many off-field DPS characters' abilities, like Xingqiu's Water Swords, Fischl's Constellation 6, Beidou's Burst, etc, etc. While certainly what I would consider to be a micro-optimization, this is honestly worth considering some of the time, especially if it helps get 16 slashes out more reliably. My theory on this is that it tightens my inputs and thus I'm able to get 16 slashes out of this. <laughs> but now let's finally start tacking on some attack speed. The first and most accessible source of attack speed is Chongyun's elemental skill, which provides a modest 8% attack speed. However, this modest 8% attack speed somehow led to 16 to 17 hits, averaging out to 16.4 hits in my 5 attempts. This, in comparison to a vanilla 0% attack speed E, is a significant improvement. At 10% attack speed, which is with the Skyward Blades passive, 17 hits became more consistent with only one instance of 16 hits. From my limited testing at 8 to 10% attack speed, you're reliably able to squeeze in 1 to 2 extra attack on top of the base 15 attacks that you usually get. <laughs> We have the next breakpoint now, which is 12 to 15% in my opinion. Yunjin's Constellation 6 provides 12% attack speed, and all of a sudden I was able to get 18 hits quite often. 15% attack speed led to similar results hitting between 17 and 18 times. Now as you can see, due to the very small sample size that we have here, it's not surprising to see something odd like 12% attack speed slightly outperforming 15% attack speed. But there was a lot to test, and if you want more points of data, I recommend trying it yourself. Now we have the next tier. This one really felt like an outlier, and frankly, things start getting wonky beyond this point. 
With 18% attack speed from Chongyun's E and the Skyward Blade, my Ayato did 20 slashes three times in a row. This jumped up two additional slashes from the previous highest of 18. However, there was also one instance of 18 slashes and one instance of 19 slashes, really demonstrating the lack of consistency and large variance, perhaps due to my execution or some odd mechanics that I'm not aware of in this game. With 24% attack speed, which I achieved with a Refinement 5, Song of Broken Pines, I managed mostly 19 hits with a single 20 hit sample. Does this make much sense? Not really, but I'm sure someone who can meticulously analyze the frame data could come up with an explanation. Regardless, from 18 to 24% attack speed, we're in the 19-ish slash range. <laughs> Anyway, at 32% attack speed, which I achieved with the Song of Broken Pines at Refinement 5 and Chongyun's Elemental Skill, now the average jumped up to 20.4 attacks. Hitting between 20 to 21 times is quite satisfying if I do say so myself. So before showcasing the 44% attack speed tier, I wanted to jump ahead to the max attack speed tier. Don't worry, we'll go back to the 44% attack speed tier, I promise. Anyway, with Boba Yaito's Constellations 4, the Skyward Blade, Jean's Constellation 2, Chong Yun Z, the Song of Broken Pines, and finally Yun Jin's Constellation 6, we are at 84% attack speed. I was able to do 23 slashes fairly reliably with this setup. However, I'm pretty sure there's a cap on attack speed at around 60 to 70%. Let me know in the comments below if you know what that cap is. Anyway, a setup like this is clearly for the memes, and it is fun to do, albeit not that practical. <laughs> We finally made it to the Boba Roken part of this video, the 44% attack speed section. I used the Song of Broken Pines at Refinement 5, Chong Yun's E, and Yun Jin's Burst to achieve 44% attack speed. For completely inexplicable reasons, most of the time I was getting 19 slashes. What? <laughs> this makes absolutely no sense at all for it to do significantly less slashes than the previous setups. However, take a look at this clip, which makes even less sense and motivated me to really make this video. That's right, 29 hits. What the heck even happened here? If we put a timer to it, we can see that Ayato's elemental skill lasted 9 seconds here. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? Anyway, I'm going to call this the Boba Roken Slash, a combination of Boba and Broken, perfectly fitting for Ayato here. On my journey to try to explain this Boba Roken Slash phenomena, I attempted this many times. Out of 14 more attempts after the first one, I managed to do this 6 additional times. This is actually a fairly respectable 43% success rate. Honestly, much more consistent than many crit fishing nuke setups. As for replicating this, the Boba Roken Slash felt pretty random as to when it would succeed and when it would fail. Oddly, removing any of these three elements, whether it's the Song of Broken Pines, Chong Yun's Elemental Skill, or Yun Jin's Burst, made it so I couldn't perform the Boba Roken Slash. Adding on additional sources of attack speed, like Jean's Constellation 2, the Skyward Blade, etc., also made it so I couldn't personally perform it. So my questions are, is this a bug? Is this practical? Is there any explanation? Is there any consistency? One could say this is truly a song of Boba Roken Slashes. So before wrapping this up, I wanted to share with you guys a tech I discovered for Constellation 6 Ayato. Yes, this will apply to the roughly 1% of you guys or so that have him at Constellation 6, and hopefully it will prove to be interesting to the rest of you. Anyway, we have come full circle and back to the beginning, to the N1E tech. By animation canceling the N1 with his elemental skill, Kami Boba Ayato's Constellation 6 additional 450% multiplier slashes will come out without the first Shun Suikin slash coming out. This allows you to more reliably vape one of his Constellation 6 slashes for some big juicy damage. So yeah, 
Tommy Boba Ayato and his Boba Roken slashes have given me a massive Boba headache. I dove into this video hoping to provide some good advice on attack speed and instead came out with more Boba than answers. Again, please take everything with a giant grain of Boba as the sample Boba here is way too small. The execution differences are very human and this game is just Boba Roken when it comes to the Boba Roken slash. Let me know if you're able to replicate this or explain it down in the comments below. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, Boba-ing out.